Hi there, welcome to chendu.org. Few days ago, I received an email from one of our readers. He has a very peculiar problem. Um, what they have is they have a set of list boxes, one set of list boxes, and then one more set of list boxes. And they would like to, the person would like to show and hide one list box or another. So this is similar to an example that you're seeing on the screen now. What we have is hide show list boxes demo. And let us say if a person wants to attend a live seminar, then we would like to know which state they are from and uh, what time is convenient for them and on which day. Likewise, if they don't want to attend the live seminar, that means they are going to attend it online. So then we need their email address and some additional details. So I have set up a simple example here so that you can understand what this is and how to create something similar using Excel. So if you, by default this is checked by when, when, when I set it up, but if you uncheck this, the details and the fields would change. So email address would have some sort of values. Again, these are just dummy values. Uh, convenient time and uh, days on which they can attend. This is all five weekdays they can attend. But if I check it to a live seminar, then you have to specify the state and and the convenient time and the days of the live seminars. These are different lists. So Monday, Wednesday and Thursday like that. So now you might be wondering, you know, how do I do something like this using Excel? So I'm going to show you that to you. The main ingredients for this are, uh, I'm going to unhide so you can see. We need all the values that need to go into different lists. So these are set up in separate ranges here. Right, I have named them for convenience. So these states are called as LST states. Emails are called as uh, LST emails, I think. And uh, time is called as LST times. Days are LST days one and days two. Okay, so that's LST emails. Now then what I have done is I have uh, gone to developer toolbar, insert, and inserted these checkboxes one at a time. So there are six checkboxes, one for the live seminar, three of them, and another set of three checkboxes for the online seminar. So insert these checkboxes and then uh, we go to format control and point out the input range. The input range for the first one would be selection of states. So you could select these four values or you could type the name range LST states here and then link it to a cell. This part is pretty obvious. So at the end of this stage, we would have six different check boxes, six uh, different uh, list boxes. Then what we need to do is, uh, I'll just uh, go to selection pane so that I can show you both boxes. So these are the six boxes. Oops. Right, these are the six boxes, one set here, the other set there. And then I've just moved them over here so you could see. Now what happens is you, you will see one at a time. So this this tells you what is happening. I just overlapped them so it all looks same. Uh, I'm going to turn them back on through the selection pane. For the time being, don't worry what is happening here. I will explain that later on. Okay, so we have these two all the six fields are mentioned here and then uh, and then we, we add a checkbox so we go to developer tab insert a checkbox right the checkbox is uh, the one that user selects so if they are going to attend the live seminar they will check that and we will load the checkbox value sorry for this uh, let me just uh, hide a few of them because that will make our life simple okay so that is the checkbox currently val seminar the checkbox reference cell is false but if you check that this will become true so true here is that false so now in the background what we have to do is all we have to do is whenever user clicks on that uh, we need to just disable one set of list boxes and enable the other set. 
now you could do this uh, one list box at a time for three times or we can what I have done is I have selected all the three boxes and I have created a group out of them how do we do that a very very simple I'll just ungroup and show it to you so go to group ungroup and each select each list box click on each of them using control or shift if you hold control key and select all the three you would be able to select all the three then right click say group I am sure you, the other part of the group is getting cut uh, but you can like that you can group it right once these are grouped this is a combined group and then we can give it a name like uh, right now that is GRP list one corresponds to the states and that selection so for the emails I'm going to call this as GRP list two meaning group of second list boxes so we have two group list boxes that is what the selection pane shows and the first one is visible the second one is not visible and then uh, if we check it this, this one gets visible that one gets off if I uncheck it the first one gets turned on the second one gets turned off so what is happening in the background that does this magic well nothing much really if you right click and uh, if you right click on the sheet and go to view code and select module one you will see that there is some code attached to the show hide lists this is the macro that runs in the background that is doing all the all the hard work well not so much of hard work but at least some work so what is happening in this macro is uh, we are just uh, whenever whenever we click on that checkbox we run this macro in this macro we are just fetching the val seminar val seminar is that cell right so you can write range double quotes val seminar or you can use this a uh, shortcut operator so if val seminar because this is going to be a boolean value so it's going to be true or false so all i have to do is if val seminar so when it is true this portion will run and when it is false these two statements will run the statements are self-explanatory what we are doing is we are just taking group list two and making it its visibility as false that means it should be hidden and group list one is going to be visible and if that is not the case that means user has unchecked the live seminar option then we just reverse the visibilities so group list two is going to be true and group list one is going to be false that's all the actual syntax is something like this active sheets dot shapes dot range array group list two in, in in plain words what it means is uh, pick the group to uh, that start grouping and then just hide it right so that's how our little uh, group selection hiding showing list boxes through a checkbox works now let me just go ahead and uh, hide these rows 18 to 25 because these are just value cells we don't need to see them uh, here and then turn on the remaining features so I can just show it to you okay and we can also hide these columns because they are not necessary for us to get this done these are there in the background and they'll just do the work and turn off that so now I can demonstrate it to you how it works so you click that it will it will show the state selections or this now because these two groups are positioned at different places on the screen you get this switching effect that is it's kind of moving but you can overcome that by very simply uh, right click uh, you know using that you can select that entire group and just carefully position it on the same place where the first group is so now it, it just appears like the boxes are changing instead of moving so if you want to learn more how to do this and lot more macros and VBA and other related automation stuff you can just check that and there are three more buttons you could visit chendu.org our website where lots of Excel and VBA and charting examples tutorials and tips are available you can join our free newsletter or you can even sign up for our online VBA classes so that you can learn how to do this and so much more Thanks again for your time and attention. I really hope you have enjoyed this little video. 
let me know your feedback through comments or by visiting our website and posting something there thanks again and i wish you a great day bye